Hello, this is an update on my bachelor's in cybersecurity. Uh, I was going quite fast at first. Uh, I did like eight courses in one month. Now it's the second month. Uh, now I'm going a bit slower. The Comp TIA A plus core has been taking me a lot longer. For one thing, it took longer because there was so much content and it was kind of new to me and I had to redo a lot of stuff because I, I was not sure what they wanted from me, but I, I soon realized that I had to uh, memorize a lot of stuff. The other things, they were just uh, kind of teaching me principles and I kind of kind of already knew the stuff. So I was able just to skim the content, whatever, pass the test for this. There's like a whole bunch of stuff, little things they needed me to memorize. So I went back through and wrote down, wrote down all the stuff on uh, flashcards. This is for uh, core one. Uh, I, I well, like we walked on the train tracks and I memorized that with my brother. Uh, he's also uh, doing the course, different major, but uh, same certificate for his degree. Uh, I finally finished all the course material after like a month. I then scheduled the test. Uh, I got up the next morning and I could not get in. I missed the test because they would not let me log in. There was some funky error that made no sense. Every time I'd log in, they'd let me in and then they'd be like, Un, uh, unexpected error. Try again. All right, so I missed the test. I missed the test. Uh, they gave me a new voucher code, code, but I could still not get in. I spent like a day trying stuff and called like three tech support people, two two on their end and one on WGU, WGU's end. Uh, I finally did some really goofy stuff that made no sense, uh, but it let me in. I can now get in. I then scheduled te the test in failed it. Uh, I failed by like three uh, questions, uh, but I learned a lot. In the course, in the courses, in the course, they present all the material in the same way without telling me how, actually how important or how much they're going to really test me on a particular topic. They do to some degree, but it's not very exact. Uh, but after I took the test, I found that some stuff did not matter that I thought would, and other stuff matter mattered that I didn't I didn't know they tested me way more on certain stuff and completely ignored other parts um, they like they never asked me about CDs but there's a whole lot on like the port numbers like pop 3 they want you to know that that's port 110 uh, like uh, it's kind of stupid I think you can just look it up what port is pop 3 if you have a computer just look it up on Google why did you need to know that telnet is port 22 port 23. It's port, Telnet's port 23 and SSH is 22. But anyway, uh, I memorized the port numbers. Uh, I didn't know that before. Uh, all I knew was that uh, HTTP was port 80 and HTTPS was port 443. Uh, but they kind of wanted me to memorize a whole bunch of the ports. Uh, memorize the port number and some other stuff. I think I should be able to do it now. Uh, I'm still waiting to schedule my test. Yeah, I hope to do it tomorrow, but we'll see how fast things go through the system. I am about to take a uh, CompTIA A plus certification core one. So I took it again and I failed again. Um, I was a little closer that time. Um, it was quite frustrating. Uh, I definitely overreacted. Uh, I actually had like the worst test taking strategy possible. So I did it in the middle of the day. It's better to do it in the morning. I should have eaten lunch. I didn't eat lunch. And I had a headache beforehand. Didn't give myself enough time to prep. So I drank a bunch of water beforehand, which didn't really completely get rid of my headache, but maybe I had to go pee the whole time. Maybe if I would have had good strategy, I could have got it over that passing mark, but I shoulda, woulda, coulda. I learned that the labs, uh, it's from a, not from taking the test, but I later found out um, that the labs are actually worth more than the individual questions. One lab is worth more than one question. Which actually makes sense if you think about it, because the labs are a lot harder. So I focus more on that now. Uh, there's a few labs that come to mind that I think I have learned, I think I'll be able to get right this time, so that will hopefully, in and of itself, make me pass. I realize I kind of need to know all the port numbers. Uh, I was scared to memorize them. There's like 21 uh, well known that they want you to know for this test. I thought it was almost impossible because it's not intuitive in any way. But I was actually able to memorize those 
far easier than I thought. I memorized 802.11 standards, the USB speeds, the RG ratings, CAT 5, and stuff like that. I was about to take the test today. That was my original plan. It's so the first day I could retake it because there's a two-week wait period. But I didn't have enough padding. I got passing was 75. I got 75, 77. So I'm gonna try to I was try to get a better score before I I take it. Actually, coming to find out, WG requires you to get 85% twice before they approve your third attempt. Um, so this is like my last attempt. Uh, at least that's what it seemed like from what my instructor said. So I took it. I took that test again today. I took it like for the second time today, and I got 77. It's not 85, obviously. So um, it might be another day, maybe two. I have passed the core one, and I am about to take the second exam. I'm not very confident, but uh, we will definitely see. I am now CompTIA A plus certified. I have taken both the tests and passed both the tests. The second one was a lot easier because yeah, it, it was a lot of software stuff. Uh, so like how to operate a Windows computer and a lot of us have operated a Windows computer before. Uh, like I'm using a Windows right now. A little bit of Mac and Linux, which I've also used. So I'm now CompTIA A plus certified. That's all there is to it.